What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. With this video, we're going to be talking about the X-Men Hellfire Gala Guide of 2022. But this official guide, it is really less of a guide and more just highlighting the amazing costumes that are going to be worn at the Hellfire Gala of 2022. If you would like to get caught up on everything that has been going on with the X-Men, be sure to check out all of the links down in my description as well as the top of this video. We have been covering almost every single one of the X-Men line. I think Shy of New Mutants is the only one we have not been covering. If you would like to check out the Hellfire Gala of 2021, we have a full video of that. You can check that out as well. This is is a free comic so you can go to any comic book store and be able to pick it up. None of this is going to be edited because there's really nothing to edit out of this. So be sure that you go pick this comic up, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we are going to be getting into the Hellfire Gala of 2022. More than likely, this is where Judgment Day is going to begin. Judgment Day being the war between the Eternals and the X-Men. The Avengers are going to be thrown in there. More than likely, they're going to be like, the middleman trying to stop all of the fighting but the invitations have gone out people around the world are being invited to the one-year event that the X-Men host. An opportunity to come to Krakoa, see the wilds and the craziness that the X-Men have been up to. More than anything, it's a way for them to show themselves off. But there is something very unique going to happen at this Hellfire Gala. They are going to be introducing a second X-Men team. How this is going to work, how this is going to play a part, I have no idea. I'm honestly curious on why they are even doing this to begin with. One year ago, we had the formation of the X-Men team at the Hellfire Gala of 2021. Not really understanding what the purpose of making a second team is for, we're gonna find out. But as we make our way through this comic, I'm gonna be talking about some of these costumes and may not necessarily line up with the images that you are seeing, so just bear with, enjoy everything that you're seeing, enjoy everything that you are hearing. And we're gonna start it off with Scarlet Witch. Now finally getting a formal invitation, being welcomed back into mutant society. At the last Hellfire Gala, Scarlet Witch had been murdered. Everyone believed that it was Magneto, but come to find out, it was more of a ploy, and what really came out of it was the X-Men's heaven. Scarlet Witch created heaven for all mutant kind. The individual that once said, no more mutants. She has brought all mutants back, and we have yet to actually see them utilize this to its fullest potential. We have seen members like Thunderbird and so on and so forth make their appearance back into the world, but there is a queue of individuals waiting to be resurrected, an entire heaven where they can just enjoy the astral plane. If they so choose to come back down to Krakoa, all they have to do is wait in their line, and once they get queued up for resurrection, they can come back. Obviously, earning her place back on this island. She's come and dressed from out of this world. And then you have individuals like Havoc. You have Spider-Man that's going to be coming on scene. His spider formal suit is absolutely fantastic. I love how much detail they do put into this event. This is an opportunity for our heroes to just show off. For artists to take that character and just put them in the fanciest thing that they can find. We got Gambit. He's coming in just shirtless. Nips blast into the world and he doesn't care in the slightest bit. Black Widow coming in like she is Death's Bride. Magic coming in and showing her connection to Limbo on full display. Doctor Doom coming in like the boss that he is. Like the royalty that he is. These guys are just absolutely killing it. 
And then there's Wolverine, there's Sink, there's Iceman, there's She-Hulk, and of course, the beautiful Emma Frost. I think my favorite one out of everybody in this gala is Steve Rogers. He comes in looking dapper as fuck. Just absolutely killing it. Captain Marvel, on the other hand, her outfit looks like absolute garbage. You're going to the Hellfire Gala, and you're wearing that? Granted, this is just a rough sketch of what she will actually look like. So far, this pantsuit that they put her in, it is not doing it. It is not working. Everybody else is coming out with these amazing outfits on, and you put Captain Marvel in some BS like that? Like, get the out of here. There is a variant cover where Cyclops is looking like a mother freaking Jedi. For the most part, it looks like everybody, except for Captain Marvel, is bringing their A-game. After what happened at the last Hellfire Gala, deception, treason, spies, murder, we can expect Hellfire Gala 2 to be out of this freaking world. Make sure you go and check out all of the variant covers that they have. They are absolutely gorgeous. That's going to bring this little 2022 Hellfire Complete Guide to an end. Let me know what you guys think down in the description. How how do you guys like these outfits? What are you anticipating to happen at the Hellfire Gala? Are you excited for Judgment Day to make its arrival? Will this be broken up by the Eternals? An all war breaking out during the gala. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. If you can't do that, be sure to hit that sub button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you like this video and until the next breakdown.